Good afternoon. It's Thursday, July 22nd, 2010. I'm Rosie Marino with your Erner Barry Seafood Market Report. Starting things off with shrimp, the import markets are rated mostly steady despite a fair to dull demand. Headless shell on white shrimp values are expected to hold, however a few lower offerings are still noted in the smaller count sizes. The headless shell on black tiger shrimp market is called full steady amid limited product offerings. The market for Gulf of Mexico shrimp is rated about steady. Offerings vary widely by seller and largely affect individual inventories rather than a collective market direction. In the scallop complex, the domestic market ranges full steady to firm given a sustained demand and still strong pricings at auction. Looking at American Live Lobster, hard shell lobster supplies continue to dwindle, creating an uptick in the market price offerings. The New York Fulton market showed an increase in today's prices, while New England prices remain full steady with the firm undertone. Replacement is limited. The quality of new shell product varied significantly, which was resulted in unsettled price offerings. Looking at Canadian snow crab, the market remains full steady to firm. A few higher offerings and sales are noted on all sizes. The king crab market on larger golden crab is very firm. Significantly higher offerings and sales have been collected. Replacement product continues to be very limited in both the red and golden king crab markets. Looking at crab meat, with the conservation season approaching for Venezuelan fresh crab meat, supply has been quite limited. Sellers reported that they are pre-selling much of what they are importing at firm levels. Now with the seafood market update, here's John Sackton from SeafoodNews.com. Uh, the story we want to highlight today is our editorial about the domestic catfish industry's attempts to scare consumers about imported catfish. Uh, they're going to be holding a news conference on Capitol Hill this afternoon uh, with Food and Water Watch, an organization that is claimed by inference that as many as a thousand people a year die from eating seafood, something that is totally false and not supported by any scientific data. Uh, but nevertheless, the catfish industry and Food and Water Watch are going before reporters to say that imported catfish represents a health threat to American consumers. Unfortunately, this type of tactic means that consumers will stay away from not just uh, imported catfish, but domestic catfish as well. Consumers are not lawyers. They do not make nuanced judgments. Once you start saying uh, that seafood is dangerous, that seafood is contaminated, that seafood causes illness, it causes consumers to back away from seafood. Uh, this is kind of a desperate attempt on the part of the domestic catfish producers because they have not been successful in getting the USDA to expand their mandate to, uh, to uh, regulate Pangasius as well as the Ecolura species which is specified under the new law. Uh, we think it is a deal with the devil uh, and it will come back uh, to hurt the industry rather than help it. Uh, in Seattle, Washington, this is John Sackton. Thanks, John. In the farm salmon market, the Northeast whole fish market looks to be adjusted higher on the smaller whole fish, 6 to 8 and 8 to 10 pounds. The balance of the market looks to be unchanged. Demand continues to be quiet. The Chilean filet market is steady to full steady. Supplies are light, especially in the Miami spot market. The European whole fish and filet markets are steady to full steady. Supplies are light for a moderate demand. The West Coast whole fish market appears steady at listed levels with an improved undertone in comparison to last week. Smaller whole fish supplies are in better balance with current demand. Larger whole fish are steady to full steady for a moderate demand. In wild salmon, the market continues to be very firm on kings. Supplies are short for an active demand. Cohos are also firm. Supplies are light for a moderate to active demand. Sockeyes and chums are steady at listed levels. Wrapping things up with the Chilean sea bass, demand outweighed supply. Market prices trended higher on all sizes. Many importers reported that product overseas has been limited due to buying interest from Asia. That's your Erner Barry Seafood Market Report brought to you on Comtel by Erner Barry's Com Commercial Guide to Fish and Shellfish.